a death sentence on your life to just believe that you are nothing but a victim. It turns you into a whiny, angry, upset, can do nothing individual that nobody wants to be around. Guys, we're going to be reacting to Candice Owen shuts down the left victimhood mentality. Guys, what do you think about this? Like, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Guys, if you're new here, just do like, share, subscribe to my channel. Let's go straight into this, guys. Hi. Um, can you speak about how liberals control black Americans' mind and how um, black people are their worst enemy and about staying in the victim mentality? Yeah. The victim mentality is a curse. And yes. when you get... When you're around long enough, you realize it's not just liberals that are selling that victim mentality. It's, you know, the left and the right when it's expedient for them to further a certain cause. But I think liberals are more guilty of it, particularly not liberals. The left, the far left lives in victim houses. Here's the truth. If you believe in your own victimhood, you will become your own oppressor. If you believe, woe is me, I can't get ahead, you will be shocked at the power of your own words and the power of your own mentality. Um, like I said at the beginning of this, psychology is key. And if they yeah. insert in your psychology that you can't, I can guarantee you 100% that you most certainly will not, right? And if you reverse that psychology and you say, I can, I can guarantee to you that you will. And it is the most harmful, it is, it is a death sentence on your life to just believe that you are nothing but a victim. It turns you into a whiny, angry, upset, can do nothing individual that nobody wants to be around. And that's why I say victimhood is a curse and to believe in your own victorship is a blessing. Sorry, I have another one. Um, also, what would you say to the black Americans that claim America is so racist, but yet they're killing their own people? Um, you know, I, the first thing that I would say to them is to get educated, genuinely. Just start somewhere. Listen to someone who you hate, like me, for like one episode. I'm always like, just give me one episode, please. Pick up a Thomas Sowell book, you know, explore the other idea because it is, it is just such a lie and it is such a nonsense and it isn't just black Americans, it is all Americans. Like they've extended it from black Americans to all of these other victim groups that we're talking about tonight. And the more that you get into history, you realize that the issue was never black on white, tall on short, men on women. It was always the government trying to drive people apart. So education is, is the key to everything. True education. Guys, this made me remember something. If you read the book of Proverbs, you understand that it hits more on understanding and knowledge. Like, you're getting knowledge and understanding. There are two different things. And I can say this. For me to see boys who are 20, 21, 25, 26, 31, still carrying gun and say, I, I want to do drugs, I, I'll pull up on you, poo, poo, poo. Like, for me, it does not make sense. Because, think about it. What do you tell your child you do for a living? I'm a gangster. Like, who, who? Is that an occupation? Like, I honestly believe that I owe it to my children to do something that will make them proud. And you've seen, maybe you come out and your child say, my dad is a engineer, my dad is a this, my dad is a content creator, even if I think it's, kind of girly but like at least he's doing something legal to make his money not you doing something illegal and bro it's sad and like i honestly believe that black have this victim mentality sample but i can say right now it's let's say last thing is it was there but right now i think it's less than 20 percent or it's there in some people's brain, but like it's not really that strong anymore because I would say a lot of people have found this kind of closure that I'm not, I'm not a victim. I am strong. I am black. I can. This is a gift, not a curse. And I can do anything I want to do. When Kanye Owen said the government is the one against us, there was a day I was watching history of slavery in Africa and I honestly saw the fact that yo, white actually did not, like, do some shit. Like, we were selling ourselves, and I can see it. The kings or the ruler, we just, okay, I'm going to give you a thousand people. 
take them and give me gold drinks. Bro, not gold drinks, mirrors. Like, God, it, it's painful and heartbreaking. You see what we did to ourselves. Like, you won't even blame them. But, like, we allowed, we gave white so much power that they really fucked up the country, the continent, I would say. But, like, I honestly believe that our government now is still making it, it's still making our country laugh and stuff because there are a lot of things that I can see that some African countries can do or should do, but they just can't because most of the government just want to keep on looting and looting and looting and looting. More like we're losing our culture right now because recently the Nigerian president actually said what a bill that is going to promote LGBTQ in Nigeria, which is heartbreaking because, bro, I'm not saying that those people don't have rights, but this is not our culture. And some people might say it's growth, but like, I honestly believe it's because of the loan he was about to collect. I think 150 billion, bro, then you. This this is me just being saying that this is sad, but I know a lot of people have different thoughts about this. But then just like, share, subscribe to my channel, leave your thoughts in my comment section. I'll see you next time, guys. Bless.